You know, I used to think that the transporter in Star Trek was a nice teleporter. I thought it'd be great to use it. And I started thinking about how it works. And it's really more of a suicide booth. A transporter, uh, a la Star Trek, is a murdering clone maker. <laughs> suicide booth. <laughs> suicide booth every time. There's no way. You're just making a copy of yourself. You're gone. History. And I can imagine that you could reassemble the exact duplicate of everything that you were somewhere else. Are we defined by the actual atoms that we're made of, or are we just the patterns that are in the atoms? It's not you that shows up on the other end, you just, it has all your memory, so it thinks it's you. Everybody else, for the rest of the world, everywhere around, they would keep interacting with this copy of you as if nothing happened. But your consciousness stops. I think you're dead. And I think that thing over there is not you. I think I'd like to go on the side of uh, it being a mode of transport, uh, just because it would be really awesome if that was actually possible. Computers aren't exactly the most reliable things on the planet, so I wouldn't want to get scrambled. Even if the technology was as good as Star Trek, I would take the shuttlecraft every time.